Hey guys, it's Elisa from Elisa Beth Photography. I am here today to create a very quick video on how to use clipping masks. Um, I'm going to use a brand new product of mine. This is a product where um, you have a white grid that could be used for any form of uh, photo template. You can put a regular photo underneath the template or you can place a um, inside the box photo into this template. This template has nine boxes, um, but what I really want to show you today is how to change the color of the border and also how to change the color of the um, chalkboard that you see here, this little family rules chalkboard that I made. So let's take a look. Um, I've already actually pre-set up some of the things that I want to show you, um, but as you can see here, if you look you see that there's a black uh, border, I mean a black uh, family rules chalkboard that is actually on its own layer. So I can click that layer and it's gone. And what you also get is just a white, a white grid. So the white grid here is a standalone. You can do anything really with this white grid. You can create your own um, chalkboard. You can create your own images. You can put your own um, text on there. So that's a real bonus that this is a white grid by itself, but I have a homemade black chalkboard layer. Um, I like it as a blackboard, but you might want to change up the colors. So one of the things you can do is I have selected the blackboard layer. What I would do is I would go in and I would create a layer right above it, which I'm going to do. And now you can see that I have a layer right above it and that layer is um, transparent. What I, how I do this, and there are probably other ways to do it, is I would go in, I would click edit on top, fill, and um, you can, I go to color, you can go to the foreground color or the background color. I'm going to click color and I'm going to find myself a nice shade of, let's say, pink, okay? Maybe I want to change this to pink. So I press OK, OK, and um, now my layer is pink. But of course, it has now covered the entire um, image. So what I'm going to want to do is I want to take this pink layer and I want to clip it to the blackboard. So since the layer is right above, this pink layer is right above the blackboard layer, I'm going to right click with my mouse on layer seven, which is my pink layer, pulls up this menu. I'm going to click create clipping mask. And now I have clipped it to my blackboard. Okay, so that's step one, but now it's covering my entire blackboard. So what you have to do now is go into your blending mode. The one that I think works the best for this one is overlay, or actually I think I liked screen better. So if you play with your overlays, you could check out all the different blending modes and find one that you like. Um, you can also change the color of that. Uh, let's see, just keep playing around with it till you find something you like. So I think I liked screen the best. Okay, fabulous. So I've now changed the color of my blackboard to pink. Um, and I'm going to show you how to change the color of the grid. The grid is actually much easier. So I would click on the grid. That's layer three. It's just this white grid. I'm going to uh, click on the bottom here to create a new transparent layer. Same steps. I go back to edit, fill. Now I think I want to fill the grid with a color. But I, I like the color that's in my um, blackboard. So I actually really like this light pink color. So if you can see here, when I take my uh, mouse and move it over the board, <clears throat> it turns into an eyedropper. And the eyedropper will pick up any color that's on your image. So I could click the hot pink and it brings me, you can look over here, it changes from this dark color to this lighter color. But I really like this little light pink. So I, I took the eyedropper and I grabbed the light pink color and see it says here now you have that light pink color. I'm going to press OK. OK. 
And now my layer is going to turn light pink, but of course, again, it has covered my entire image. So I'm going to right click on layer eight, create a clipping mask, and I have now clipped the mat, the, the pink layer to my grid. And so now I have a different grid color and I also have a different uh, color for my blackboard. And now you can take the basics and create an unlimited amount of colors and images. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I would love to see um, your work. I hope you post it in our group. Okay, have a great day.